kids. I'm Pearl the mermaid, and this is my best friend Cecil the sea lion. Today's adventure is called Commotion in the Ocean. In our story, Cecil learns what it means to be a responsible friend. Oh, I know this one. A responsibility is something someone expects you to do, or a way you're expected to act. You're absolutely right, Cecil. And when you don't behave responsibly, sometimes there are consequences. But if you want to be a more responsible friend, you can do it if you set your mind to it. All it takes is a plan. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. But under the calm blue waters, there's about to be quite a commotion. Did you see the flyer, Pearl? Frankie the Fiddler Crab is coming to town. Her music is shrimply the best. Can we go? I don't think we can, Cecil. Don't you remember? Gary the Garibaldi needs us to babysit his hatchlings today. He says they can be a real handful. <laughs> we should be done in plenty of time for the concert. Besides, how hard can it be to watch hatchlings? Hmm, good point, Cecil. If we work together, we should just be able to make it. Cecil and I were so excited for the concert, but responsibilities come first. Gary the Garibaldi needed our help, and I knew we couldn't let him down. When it was time to watch the hatchlings, I arrived at the sea cave just as Gary was getting ready to leave. Strangely, Cecil was nowhere to be seen. Pearl, I'm so happy to see you, but where's Cecil? The hatchlings might be cute, but they could cause a lot of trouble. It's too much work for only one babysitter. Don't worry, we can count on Cecil. I'm sure he's on his way. Only, there was a big problem. Cecil wasn't on his way. Instead of swimming to Gary's, Cecil was playing a game of catch with Shelly the sea turtle. Cecil loved playing catch. Throwing the ball back and forth was so much fun. Cecil thought it couldn't hurt to be a little late. Come on, Cecil. Just one more game? Sure, why not? I'm sure Pearl will be fine on her own. Sadly, Cecil was wrong. Once Gary was gone, there were too many hatchlings for me to handle all by myself. While I was busy with one group of baby fish, the others zoomed around, overturning rocks and shells on the ocean floor. Gary's tiny little sea cave looked like it had been hit by a typhoon. Some of the hatchlings even escaped and swam next door to Sandy, the sea star's house. They tore up her seagrass and knocked down her collection of beautiful coral. I'd never seen little fishes make such a big mess. I needed another set of fins to help me, and fast. What's going on here, Pearl? I'm so sorry, Sandy. I'm in charge of Gary's hatchlings, but they got away from me. Do you need some help? Yes, please. Sandy helped me round up the hatchlings and bring them back to the sea cave. Between the two of us, Sandy and I were able to get them all down for a nap. It was finally quiet, but there was sand and silt everywhere. It was a disaster. That's when Cecil and Gary arrived. Sorry I'm late, but whoa, what happened here? Oh my goodness, is everything okay? I'm so sorry, Gary. The hatchlings are fine, but they made quite a mess. Some of them got away too, but thankfully, Sandy was here to help me round everyone up again. Where were you, Cecil? I'm so sorry. I got distracted playing catch with Shelly. I should have been here when I said I would. Cecil felt awful about what had happened. He thought and thought and came up with a plan that he hoped would make up for his behavior. Pearl, Sandy, I want you to have these. Two tickets for Frankie the Fiddler? Wow, I'm so excited. I'll clean up the mess while Gary watches the hatchlings. Pearl, you and Sandy go to the concert without me. I know how important that concert was to you, Cecil. Are you sure? Absolutely. I shouldn't have left you alone with the hatchlings. If I had been there, none of this would have happened. It's my responsibility to make it up to you, Sandy and Gary. I want to make things right. Cecil learned a valuable lesson that day. Following through on your commitments is a big part of being responsible. If you don't follow through, it's important to accept the consequences of your actions and make a plan to make things better. Remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen.